Hi there and welcome to my quick guide on how to use my latest asset which is a set of 14 eyebrow insert multi mesh brushes for ZBrush. And before I start I'd just like to say a quick thank you to the guys at 3D Scan Store who very kindly let me use one of their 3D scans to demonstrate my brush. Uh, it's uh, amazing quality as always from those guys. So to start off with I will load my brush which is called Hush Gold Brow Brush. Now this brush is a set of 14 base eyebrows and five filler pieces, sort of individual strands to customize. Now with any insert multi mesh brush, you can only sculpt these, you can only use these on a mesh with uh, a single subdivision. And you probably don't want to do that on your main mesh. So I would suggest duplicating it. And I've already done that. I've done, I've got this one duplication where I've removed their eyebrows, the scanned eyebrows. And then this one, which is a uh, lower resolution, so it's a bit quicker to work with. So I'm going to use this and uh, demonstrate how, how to use the brush, how to use the uh, insert mesh. So the first thing to do is pick one of the brows and then simply drag it onto the mesh. If you're not familiar with uh, insert multi meshes, as you drag them on, it masks the underlying geometry so that you're editing only the only the new geo. So the reason for this guide and the reason this is a little more complicated than some of my other brushes is that the brush comes in completely flat. Now the reason I've done this is because obviously everybody's uh, heads at home will be different. I didn't want to try and fit it to a generic head. I wanted everybody to be able to fit it perfectly to their own. And to do this, you scale it to the rough position you want. And this is completely up to the artist vision. And then you click on the customized cog here and go to bend curve. Now bend curve is really cool. It creates a bounding box around the, the mesh and it creates these little control points. You use the curve resolution here to go up or down and for this purpose I'm going to pick five points and then just very quickly move it to the surface of your mesh. Now a really cool thing about the uh, this brush in particular, the, sorry the bend curve is that as you click on any control point, you can scale it, you can squeeze it, and you can twist it. Now, in particular, the twist is really cool and quite important for the uh, for the eyebrows because as the eyebrow comes over in, and starts to go under the ridge, uh, you would probably want to twist it just so that the roots start to anchor into the into the head. At this stage also it's good to note that it's a very good stage to, to choose how you want your eyebrow to go, like if you want it, what shape it wants to be. Um, it's a very flexible part of the process and uh, it's a good time to do it. So just put this in position and you may have noticed that I've currently just left the roots slightly above and I'll address that in a minute. I'll do that for a reason. And once that's placed you can also move it with any of your normal sculpting brushes like move, inflate, any <laughs> any of them. And uh, what I like to do now for the roots is use a brush like Damn Standard or in particular, a brush I found really good for this is Detail 3DCW by Shane Olson, which is at 3dcharacterworkshop.com. With this brush, I, I use a, a large size and I just go around to the bottom of the roots and just sort of push them in. And I find it creates quite a natural, a natural flow for the hairs.
Now at this stage, adjust until you're you're happy with with the uh, with the brush. Something that's pretty cool to do is use the move topological brush with a large brush size, and then you can actually start really fine tuning in, and you can move individual hairs. For example, if you're not happy with how these are separated, you can start to bring them closer. Just really fine tune what you want to do. And later on, as you really fine tune, you can um, polygroup automatic and delete some of the hairs if you feel it's too thick in places. Okay, so I'm happy with that for now. I'm just going to very quickly show you the filler brushes, which is exactly the same, just individual strands, so you can really, really start to customize the look. Now, now that's complete, I wish to mirror this across. And to do that, I'm going to delete the underlying mesh, go to geometry, delete hidden, and I will be left with just my brow and the underlying uh, head. With the with the eyebrow selected, using Subtool Master, I'm going to mirror it across. And that could be the end. However, personally, I like to then just take a little time extra using the Move Topological to try and create asymmetry. I don't want symmetrical, completely symmetrical eyebrows. And I would probably spend half an hour at this stage to just get it as I wish, wish it to be. Um, using a mixture of move topological and also inserting individual strands just to really, just to really get some difference from left to right. Um, the only thing left to show you, I'm sort of midway through uh, creating my promotional promotional art. Um, so I'll just quickly show you some of the brushes included. Uh, my promotional art's all bright and orange, obviously <laughs> you're not going to have it like that. But these are just some of the brushes included and they're in their very simplest quickly drawn, quickly positioned, untweaked. There's a large mixture from a whole set that which are based on more model pictures, um, quite thick, uh, all the way through to having old man bushy eyebrows. And then towards the latter stage, uh, my references were more just normal people. They're thinner, not as thick thick eyebrows but I think there's a good selection and hopefully there's something there for everyone and I really hope it saves you some time because it's a it's a really time consuming process to to do these eyebrows and um, I just yeah it, if it help if it saves you a couple of hours I, I think hopefully you would consider that well worth it and uh, if there's any questions just uh, send me a message either on YouTube or via whatever uh, store you found my work and uh, I'd love to hear any feedback and any suggestions for future brushes and that's it from me thank you very much for listening